Hey my little angels and welcome back to another video. So this time it is AJ Rim number 52. So is it's basically just, you already know what it is. Because it was a thing that came out like on Thursday. It was a rare purse. And it's a non-member item. Yay. Although it looks very similar to like a regular purse. What? Hello peoples. I'm surprised. How are you guys here already? You don't even know where I am like three of you guys. Because you're not my buddy. So many foxes. Okay, anyways, so basically it came out on Thursday and then AJ finally realized that they accidentally pre-released it on like the day that the updates came out. And so basically it was, yeah, so then they just realized six hours before Friday came along that, well actually it would be five hours because it's by Mountain Time. Although AJ HQ is located in Pacific Time, I don't get that one. Maybe like they moved locations or something? If any of you guys know, you can feel free to comment below. So basically, as if you haven't seen it before it left stores, it is this rare pink purse. The only difference is that it has like a very, it has a sea blue or like the very light blue, the hidden blue kind of color to it instead of it being white. So AJ is very unoriginal. Oh, and this is probably darker, I believe. AJ is being very unoriginal. They have been very unoriginal for quite a while. Like, they're taking regular in-store items and then turning, adding it a little bit different color and being, oh, here you go. Here's a rare. Like, even with their items, I don't think they're being very creative a lot of the times. Once in a while, yes, they do impress. But for the most part, it's recycled, basically recycled items. And just, like, just change the color a little bit. And there you go. There's your new item. I'm not very impressed with AJ, though. So, that's pretty much all I have to say. And now, that's... I don't think there are any other items. I'm sorry if I missed any. But I'm pretty sure there aren't any other items. And what... I never really actually paid attention to achievements. I never really tried. And people are unbudding me, apparently. Anyhow, don't ask me to buddy you because I can't buddy you. Because I'm way past my limit. And it doesn't let you buddy. Because it gives that message. So anyhow, I will be doing mail time video now after this and oh, don't forget to enter my giveaway. I'm going to repeat this over and over again because I know half of you guys don't really watch my videos like all the way through or whatever. Or sometimes you just miss a video or two. It doesn't matter because I make them every day and I don't think everyone likes watching stuff that's like that often. But I just did to update you guys so that you guys know where is what. So yeah, so I'm giving away these three items, three winners. This time I'm actually doing it by subscribers. So, yep. And so basically for my day, let's see. First, I have history. U.S. Econ. Economics. Economics. I don't know how to say <laughs> Economics. So we just call it Econ. So basically, we had presentations today. I'd say ours went fairly well. Basically, people vote. So I believe so far we got the most votes. Two groups, three groups still had to go on um tomorrow because we ran out of time today but we did really well we came in first on top of like all the other groups that went so far and then we have we had a physio quiz which is just about the heart and the circulation and the different parts of the heart different tissue layers and their functions i would say that actually went really well i'm pretty sure i got 100 percent. if not i might have gone just like one wrong maybe if spelling really matters. I think one of them I might not have spelled it correctly, but other than that, I think I did really well. And then we had, oh, I watched like a couple more episodes of Criminal Minds. I was watching some crim Criminal Minds at school too. And then let's see, in myth, mythology slash folklore, which is basically literature, but like we get to choose different kinds of literature. Either we could have done Brit lit, like British literature or mythology literature, or there's also, what's it called? Contemp, contemporary literature. So I just chose myth and folklore because I found that the most intriguing. So basically we had, we played Jeopardy in it for like, because we are we just finished reading chapter 13 and 14 in Dracula. So then we just played Jeopardy on it. And basically we're divided into six groups, four people in each group. And then they got, a, whoever won got a quiz point. Like our group didn't win because a couple of the people in a our group of four did not read the chapters, so yeah. <laughs> Either way, so now I'm back home, so let me just go on to making a mail time video. So bye, you guys. Keep it in job. And as always, peace.